Hello everyone, welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. You know what I realized, standing here? I could probably stand here for five minutes and just listen to this ambient sound. It's so... good and entrancing. It would build up the tension, it would scare me, just to stand here and just listen and imagine what's waiting for me out there in the dark. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Mangan. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. <laughs> Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. I wonder... He saw how we ruined things. He, he wants to make things better, uh, clean, he wants to... Whatever the hell he just said, I my memory is extremely poor and I'm... yeah. I don't exactly remember word for word, but basically he wants to fix what we've destroyed, what we've wrecked, what we've done wrong. But how? What exactly is it that he doesn't like? He says we're ruiners, you and I and everyone. Ruining what? And exactly how is what he do is what he's done here and is doing? How is this better? These perversions that he's made, these squealing, crying, sickly disgusting things. What exactly does this solve? What the hell is wrong with Mandis? I just had a thought. Can you imagine playing a game like this with Oculus Rift? Oh. My. God. I bet that is gonna change... That- that is going to result in probably the scariest... experiences ever on a computer. Oculus Rift plus horror. Oh my god. Hello, children. How are you? Surely you're not leading me to my death, right? My lovely, lovely, lovelies. What the hell? That is extraordinarily out of place. Look at this. The detail of everything. Look, I mean, the textures in this game are range from very good to pretty good. Really good floor textures, really good wall textures. Well, pretty good wall textures. Really good, really good, really good, really good, and then that. That looks hideous. That looks like an asset that is meant to appear very far in the distance, or perhaps it was ex meant to be extremely small and for some reason they scaled it up. That looks hideous. What the hell? That is extremely out of place. I said you'd come. Oh god, it's that water thing. And a great machine. The pump rooms. Oh, this is the pump room. These must be the bilge pumps. Bilge pumps. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his flood in place, he must have disabled these vast pumps. But he was clearly rushed. Thus far, he has left most of his work incomplete. His clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. P 
<laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what be funny? You know be really, 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 really funny? This saboteur? What if I am the saboteur? I I'm still assuming that I'm Mandis. Maybe I'm not, but I'm pretty sure I am. The creator. I'm the creator of all of this. What if I realized what I'd done and I tried to sabotage it and turn everything off but now I've forgotten and I am turning on the very thing that I tried to sabotage I mean I'm trying to find my children but I'm pretty sure they're dead or at least have died and have been resurrected in some way and plus he called the things that he's made his children so maybe I'm not even finding his literal children. Maybe I'm actually finding my new children. But anyway, yes, on my quest for my children, I've had to restart the machine. I'm turning it on piece by piece. On my way, my descent. <laughs> my dark descent into the machine for pigs. I'm bringing this thing back to life. Maybe it's calling to me. Maybe it wants me to think that I can rescue my children, is luring me back in to turn it on. These walkways make me really uncomfortable. I, oh, I don't like being over water. I do not like water in games. Even if it's not a horror game, I don't like water. When it is a horror game and there's water, I like it even less. There's something extremely helpless about being in water. I just, it makes, it creeps me the hell out. A little bit in real life too, but especially in games. Alright, I'm just gonna sprint to this ladder and jump up. Okay, ha. Huh. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple. Down. Towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. The voices of my children in the temple in Mexico? Were his children dead by the time he went to Mexico? Wait, it wasn't Mexico, wasn't it? As soon as I said Mexico, I suddenly thought, wait, was it in Mexico or am I remembering wrong? Where did I even pull that from? Well, whatever. The jungle. The temple. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm sure his children didn't come with him to the jungle. To the temple, right? I mean, that'd be insane. So, his actual children couldn't possibly be at the temple calling to him. What? What the hell? Whatever that was, it just disintegrated. It's a, like, I don't know, blood? Blood dust? Red dust? Rust? I hear another one. Hmm, what's this way? What does that say? Mandis Processing Company. Ah. I wonder what that symbol is. I don't know, it just looks like a bunch of wavy lines and circles. Can't really make anything of it. Okay, I'm getting up here. What the f fuck? Okay, I'm gonna keep going up. I'm gonna keep going up. Stop, ensure all wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps.
Alright, do I just need to start this thing up? That is very loud. Very, very loud. Makes it hard to hear if anything's coming behind me. Alright, what did I just do? I started something up. Started this up, whatever that is. Oh god, not another loud ass place. Oh no, I don't like this, I don't like this. I can't hear anything. Oh, and I'm being directed. I'm being directed this way because now there's steam blocking my way back. Oh. That opened. Sprint! Oh. Okay. It's a bit quieter. Valves and pipes. Another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. I cannot help but feel I am trapped in some great game. A forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. I, I was trying to, I was debating with myself whether to pronounce that Herculean or Herculean, and then I realized it's Herculean. Yep, it's Herculean. I actually know how to pronounce that one. So clap for me. Good job to me. This machine is massive. And look at that. Think of how much this one machine cost, and then consider that there are dozens and hundreds of things of this size. Where did I get all the- Oh, fuck! Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I knew something like that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just didn't know when. Bravo to the game developers. There were, there were like a half dozen times I thought that was going to happen, and it happened exactly when I didn't expect it. Oh. Now I really don't like being above the water. <laughs> really, really don't. Hmm. That way leads... Looks like that way leads onwards, so where does this go? Where does this go? Ugh. Maybe this way leads onwards? Yeah, that leads down to a... Oh wait, no, there's a ladder. Hmm. Hold on, what's the other way? I'm all the way down there. About as deep as you can go. Hmm. Might need that for something. 
Actually, can I put it on right now? Whoops. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, whoops. Come here, come here. Okay, I thought so. You, seriously, you can't have amnesia without some sort of a gear puzzle. It just can't happen. It's a classic. It's gotta be in there. Alright, so I need one more. Yep, one more. I'm sure all, all wheels are in place for the correct operation of pumps. Yep. That's what the other pathway's for, to get the wheel. Yeah, this thing's not gonna turn on. Okay. But that is seriously classic amnesia. The hunt for the wheel. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, that closed behind me. Wait, what? That, that was open. How? How do I? Wait, was? The fuck, was that there the whole time? Um. Hmm. What would have happened if I went the other way? Or maybe I need to go there after I do this. I Was that wheel there the whole time? I don't know. I really have a feeling it wasn't. Okay, it opened back up. Now, does that open up something here? Oh. Finding the children. The flood is drained. I have prevailed. The saboteur is beaten. My heart pounds with excitement. Even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter, as Lily once lay on our wedding bed and summoned me into manhood. Sensing its rebirth is imminent, yes, and that's exactly what I'm worried about. Uh, alright. So is there something new this way? No, I think I need to go down. Yeah, I think I need to go down. It's so freaking loud! This place is alive. that. It's like, there's a blood stain, and then it's like something was thrown off here and just like bashed against the rafters. Like, so, like a carcass was discarded. Oh, great. Oh, I think it just picked up a bunch of shit. When holding an object, you can click right mouse to throw the object. Are you hinting that I need to break something? Because it appears I'm trapped. Okay. Let's take a look. Any cracks? Any cracks in the wall? Whoa. Oh, God. What the hell? Uh, why did... Maybe I'm supposed to throw it against the ladder to make it come down. I guess the, I guess the game um, auto adapted to my lack of understanding. That's actually smart. It's better than uh, that you think something weird happened and the ladder just came down suddenly rather than you actually being stuck down there. Anyway, alright, so that's not where I need to go. Where do I go then? I opened something. Obviously I restarted this place as you can hear because it's really loud. Well, it's not back up here. This is where I came from. Uh... 
Uh, I don't even know if I can go through that steam. I may... Oh, wait, I think I can. Yeah, hold on. No. Nope. I just burned my face. That is nothing. Oh. Hello. Look at it. It's alive. I've brought it back to life. But what have I done? Is this a good thing? I brought it back to life. I don't think that's a good thing. Wait, what do I do next? Oh, there we go. Hmm, there's something burning behind there. Is that a furnace? I guess there's a furnace behind there. Core systems access. Diagram. A pile. A pile of rotten apples, I think? Here we go. The children, dancing. He obsessively scans the newspapers and periodicals for new inventions. They are the architecture to evaluate... Uh, ev evolate? Evolate. Us all, he proclaims, Edwin and Enoch, just play on unaware. Evolate. I don't know what that means. E Wait, el elevate? Is it just misspelled elevate? Evolate? I think it is. Unless it's an entirely different word that I'm just not familiar with, which is very possible. Since this game uses a lot of words that I'm unfamiliar with. The broom! I remember the br Is that the exact broom from Amnesia the Dark Descent? I remember there being a broom. I wonder if that's the one. Good old broom. Or wait a minute. Maybe I'm thinking of the broom from one of the Penumbra games. I remember there was, uh, in one of the Penumbra games, there was a broom you could pick up and you could actually use it to attack things, even though it completely sucked, I think. I don't know, it's been years since I played them, so I might be remembering that wrong. March 15th, 1899. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden. They clean my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten ribcage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me, as we rolled sick and heaving. And I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and set it upon the mantelpiece and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the, into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the 
Road. Dodin? What? Road. Rododin drone drones? Rododin drone what the f what is that? Rododin drones. I have no I I've literally no idea what that is. A plant? A building? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. Stones. Hmm. We're dreaming of a great machine. Is that where the idea for this machine came from? Maybe he brought something back with him from the jungle, inside of him. In his head. A sickness that's telling him what to do? Something that's trying to regrow itself? Bring itself back to life through someone else? A parasite? Buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges. What are, what are those tiny shattered skulls? Wait a minute. My children? Could he be, could he be talking about his children? Those tiny shattered skulls? Set it upon the mantelpiece. The stone, I think. Or the artifact, or whatever it is. Set on recrafting them. Whatever them is, are. Hmm. Down, down we go. Deeper and deeper. The heart of the machine. And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molden, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul in two bodies. And my love was all-consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you now, my darling boys. No unauthorized persons to enter this facility by order of the management. Hmm, I get to pick away. Let's let's not go down. Never mind, let's go down. And came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and then we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. Wait, what? You set me upon the mantelpiece? What? Me. Me. Am I hearing the voice of it, the thing? Whatever I brought back? Oh wow, that's way too silent. I was hoping to get somewhere less loud so I can actually talk. Alright, this is better. Set me upon the mantelpiece. And it. The thing that's been talking. Is that... what? Is that the voice from the phone? The thing that's been goading me on? The thing that's been telling me to go faster, deeper, turn things on? The thing that wants me to restart? The machines? Oh god, I'm going deep. I'm going really, really deep. For your children, Magnus, to spare them the world you have created for us all.
Oh no. Am I going even deeper? I am. How deep does this place go? That is a very good question. What is this? It's huge! This can't be used for processing pigs! I mean, what the f- What- what is this? Rod control room. Well, I don't need to go there yet, because I don't even know what rods it's talking about. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Well, I'm not just gonna randomly use those levers without knowing what they do. Although, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna end up doing that. Yep. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Yep, they don't work. Rod control room it is. Man, that moment with the epic music playing as you go down the elevator, getting a look at the heart of the machine, and then the music stops at the instant the elevator gets to the bottom. That was epic. That is seriously one of the most memorable scenes I've ever seen in a game. Alright, I'm not done restarting the beast. Not quite. Manual restart required. There I am, I'm at the last spot, I think. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. That is a lot of toggle switches. Hmm. Mm, 
Maybe I should mess with the toggle switches first. Alright, well some are lit and some aren't. Oh god, what have I done? Can I move it back? No, I can't. Hmm. A final act of sabotage. The bastard has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction, and then I will render this sabotage impotent once and for all. Okay, so whatever I'm trying to put back in place is, like, blocked or something. Yeah, that one's good. But three and six need to be repaired. It's like there's a blockage or something. Danger, compound X. Highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic. Is that what this is? Like, is this... Is this thing running on compound X? Or is it bathed in compound X? Alright, so which one's which? Well, I, actually, I guess I know. These two. These two, yeah. I guess this mirrors the toggle switches. Three and six. Alright, well, I opened a hatch. But... Something tells me I'm horribly irradiated now, now that I've been in this. Are they good? I mean, this one doesn't didn't work, but it seems to already be open. So, I don't know. I guess we're good. Going down into it. Oh, you can actually see it right there. Yeah. And... Last one. Here we go. Okay. Two levers. Two levers stand between this thing being dormant and being alive again. Ignition control. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I'm coming, my darlings. I've almost saved you. <laughs> yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Listen to that thing. Whatever it is. It just wants me to restart it. It's, it is using anything it can to get me to restart it as fast as possible. It does not care. It's using my children to try to get me to do it. Okay, here's one. Daddy, daddy! Now, 
madness. Set them free. Set them all free. All? <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna set them free. That's not good. I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig! More pig! Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mandis, saboteur. You can't come in. No, you can't come in. You must sleep in the yard, bad piggy. Dirty pig. Stinking of filthy animal. You bad child. You stinking child. You filth. And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Stone egg. What did the children say a while ago? Like, come see the egg? Or the stone? S something about the egg, the stone. One of my notes of the stone that whispers. Yeah, I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me and I dream of a great machine. The egg. The hell? 29th, December, 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart, down to the bricks, and begin again? Are our souls just this? Tiny cogwheels and clockwork, and intricate machines, to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? 
can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motions, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century, with hope in his heart? As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Pressure regulation. Betrayed. So it is done. The saboteur was me. Yes, I called it! I thought so. I'm proud of myself for that one. And the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice, torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. I don't know what that means. I, I really don't know what that means. Steam vent access only at low pressure. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landis? Maybe not so well enough. They're dead. August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but it drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course. We only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by these superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Dear God. Using the unfortunates from the orphanage as slave labor. And if they happen to die by being boiled alive from steam, who cares? And when they don't die, they get fed to the pigs. Well. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, fuck you. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children. You unholy bastard! I'm no pig. What is that on the ground? Oh, it's a teddy bear. Will it hurt them? 
A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! More masks. Oh my god. It's one of them. December 1st. 1899. There's a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon, what you did get born holding ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden, to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon, made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? What have I become? Was that... Was that note left to me? By the pig creature that just walked away? But, I mean, it said. My darling Lilibeth, what, what am I become? Which means it's written by me. Unless that was me. But then, if that was me, then what am... Oh god, I don't even know. It sounds weird, but for some reason I'm not really afraid. I... It's weird, I feel... I feel like I'm not afraid of the pigs anymore. Like, they're not even the real threat. They're... I feel like they're my children. I feel like we're kind of in the same position. Somehow. Like, I don't even feel like they're trying to kill me at this point. I feel like the real enemy is whatever the thing is that convinced me to come down here. The thing that tricked me. Actually, let me get further away so it's not so loud. <laughs> is there anywhere where it's not so loud? Here, I guess? Escape through the pipes. If in the throes of my evil I sent children into the pipes to clean them, then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of that godless compound X that fuels these machines. And I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Sounds good. It's powered by Compound X. How do you power an engine with Compound X? 
Here we go. Hey, are you watching? The egg. Whatever you are. You fucking parasite. Fuck you. Yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it? This little piggy isn't quite so impotent. Mandis is the saboteur. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak, wreak havoc. Which is precisely what we will do. I don't think I can go through that, no. Steam vents. All about me. The thunder of machinery. The blasts of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster, cracked. My circulation stagnated. My vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Still can't go up there. Yeah, I really don't want to stay down here. Oh, here we go. Wait, what did that say? Ensure conduits are correctly placed to avoid pressure backdrafts. Child fatalities this month. Child fatalities this month. 17. The pressure regulator. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary s stalling of this entire engine. That could cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandis, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this portrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the Overman. Okay, I don't know what the hell an Overman is, but I will take your word for it. I get the gist of it. There we go. I guess I could have used the gear, but instead I used my hand. Which is kind of dangerous, but who cares? Fuck you, machine. Oh, God. Okay, um, I'm feeling like they're kind of dangerous now. Go! Go! I died. I don't feel as much of a kinship with the pigs as I did before. Okay, let's, um... Let's not use my lantern. Yeah, I'm not feeling that kinship anymore. Nope. Nope. There's a ladder. Oh god, there's a ladder. And look, I gotta go behind one. It's gonna turn around, I know it. Nope, nope. Make a break for it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm good. I'm good. Does it have a light? They have lights. Oh. Into the pipes and out of the engines. Now quickly, through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarl itself about me. Its unholy, inhuman mind coil and slick and send its dark tendrils through its conduits to repair the damage. 
I will return to the streets, I will fetch help, and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. Okay, let's go fast. Alright, uh, down we go. Oh, shit! Steam is a-poppin'! Oh, God. Go, 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 go! This is oh. your doom, Magnus. This is what you tried to do. I will stop you. I will save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies. Kill them all! Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling the kinship with the pigs anymore. Nope. They are not mine. They are not my children. They are its children. Anything to save them. Burn away. Burn away the remnants. The parts that will not process. The waste. The awful of your world. They grit the system and stick the wheels to the temple floor. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground.